Another successful landing for the Solar Impulse aircraft, which has made it to California, having now travelled more than 15,000 miles without using any fuel. Achievements like this depend on a complex network of data that can be transmitted instantaneously to the team's mission control centre in Monaco, where the information is processed and analysed. Really, during the flights, we are monitoring the flight, we will help the pilot, we will give him updates. Oh, here maybe the, the wind changed, so we suggest you go here, you go here. In the plane, we have only one pilot, and the second pilot, or the first officer, or the co-pilot, is this area here. Little wonder that one of the first stops for pilot Bertrand Picard after landing in the US was the ABB Research Labs in Silicon Valley. It's here that researchers and engineers work on the latest wireless technology and analytics software. Because the connectivity and interoperability of the cutting-edge solar impulse aircraft is rapidly coming to high streets, homes and businesses. Our partners, they don't come from the world of aviation. They come from the world of industry. And the technologies they provide to us are the ones they put on the market for their customers. What's new now? Um, it's, well, it's two things really. It's technology enabling scale. If we look at the Internet of Things, uh, you know, industry analysts like Gartner are telling us that by 2020, 25 billion devices will be connected to the Internet of Things. Other pundits are saying it could be as high as 50 billion. This in turn means a massive increase in the amount of data that needs to be collected from all those devices, fed into the data centre for the big data and analytics to take place. One key example for ABB is the new smart sensor, which can bring a simple factory motor into the information age, feeding data about performance and servicing straight into the cloud. Sometimes it's the small things that make a big difference. Well, and this would, would have uh, significant applications in terms of energy savings as well. Absolutely, and if you would make this... So if we care about climate change, we need the, this kind of efficiency. It's all part of the move towards what ABB calls the Internet of Things, Services and People. A rapid expansion of data and interconnectivity, which many experts say is driving a new industrial revolution. As we look into the future, we see a much more connected world where our technology, our solutions, our devices that are used on the grid or in factories or even in the home are all connected together through the ubiquitous approach of data and connectivity. With that, we believe we can run the world more efficiently using less energy and more interoperability. And that's a vision shared by the Solar Impulse team, who are now putting this technology to use as they prepare for the next leg of their historic journey.